So I call this um, bliss flow for, what am I calling it? Bliss flow for, God, I forget. <laughs> what is this bliss flow for? <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very slow download today. I can't remember. First I thought it was bliss flow for a meaningful life. Oh, bliss flow for shining your light. Yes, <laughs> that's what we're trying to accomplish. <laughs> we have arrived at the deepest layer of our human being according to the koshas at least. This is the fifth kosha and it is called the Anandamaya kosha which translates to bliss body or divine joy. I'm sure that at some point in your yoga practice you started your practice not feeling really good. Maybe you were annoyed at someone or life just felt like a huge suffering or you just felt completely disconnected to what you were doing to yourself and everyone around you and then you went through the practice and then by the end of it you just felt this complete bliss fully connected with yourself connected to everyone around you even though nothing changed other than that you went through the yoga practice and um, you connected into all of these different layers of your human being and you ended up with this wonderful feeling of um, like inner joy, inner peace, uh, a state of bliss that we can only feel from the inside and that is what this bliss body is about it is feeling connection to ourself feeling this deep joy within us uh, this deep love within us but also to the people around us like in the wisdom flow i said if we practice more discernment and we try to practice that we want for others what we want for ourselves then we connect in to the bliss body. So we have this bliss within, within us and we walk around with it all the time, but we might not always feel it. But my hope now is by you knowing these different layers of the body, that you can nourish each of the layers in whichever way you feel is uh, important to you and which will help to serve you in the best way possible then you can develop a practice that will help you to feel a little bit more spiritually aware and a spiritual connection you know to yourself and to everyone around you. So I have a blog post where I've written a little bit more about this and share some ideas to the different ingredients that we can incorporate into our own personal uh, practice with some ritual and uh, you can check that out and see you're probably doing quite a lot of it but if you're not it might give you uh, something to think about of maybe what you would want to uh, integrate for yourself so that you can shine your brightest light so this is the bliss flow for shining your brightest light what I have with me here is just um, a, a few uh, things for the Shavasana part and I also have a block that I'm sitting on I'll integrate that so if you enjoy this thumbs it up let me know in the comments how the series or just this flow feels and if you learn something from the series it's been bliss sharing it with you <laughs> we're going to begin in uh, a seated position like this in Sukhasana and uh, close your eyes if you want to or feel free to keep them open and place your palms together in Namaste Mudra or Atmanjali Mudra and gently draw your chin into your chest. Bow down into the highest within yourself. 
and repeat these four Sanskrit words after me. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. May everyone everywhere be happy and free, and may the thoughts and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and that freedom for all. Stay with your breath, feel your inhales and your exhales. You can apply an ujjayi breathing, so slightly contracting your throat muscles. Lift through the pelvic floor, draw in through the navel. So as you inhale, fill your lungs up, fill your rib cage expanding. And on your exhale, fill the rib cage, go back to normal. And then listen to the sound of your own breath as you're inhaling and exhaling, allowing the mind to quiet down so that you can tune in and focus into how your physical body, your Anamaya Kosha feels today. You can tune in to your Pranamaya Kosha, your energy body noticing whether you're putting too much effort into the practice or maybe not enough or just right. And as you're allowing your mind to quiet down, tuning in to the emotions, how you're feeling. And also Checking in with our wisdom. Noticing whether we are judging ourselves or we are practicing discernment towards ourself and how we can stretch that beyond ourself. So this is a practice for keeping our heart open, for staying open-hearted, and for merging the head and the heart into one connected unit. So touch your forehead, and then touch your heart. Good, open your eyes, and come forward onto your forearms and on your shins. So set your arms up so they're shoulder distance apart and your legs are hip distance apart. Exhale the left leg out. Inhale lower. Exhale the right leg out and inhale lower. Exhale left. Inhale lower. Exhale right. Inhale lower and keep going like this. Draw up through the navel. Keep the heart open. Try to wrap your shoulder blades into the armpits. Send your shoulders down into the socket and soften your eyes, soften your face and feel the breath supporting the movement that you're making. Pressing the leg away from you and giving a little bit of a squeeze into the bottom of the buttocks, the buttocks itself, and the back of the thigh. So strengthening our seat. And release, pause it, come up onto your hands, and then exhale, round it into a cat stretch. Drop your head, shake it loose. Inhale, arch it into a cow. Do that again, exhale, round it into a cat. You can shift your weight forward. Inhale, arch it to a cow, shift your weight back. A few more times, exhale, round. 
Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Then exhale, round. And inhale, sit back into child's pose. Draw the hips back. Then inhale, we're going to rise up into a camel prep. And you recognize the sequence now a little bit. Exhale, rest the arms to the side. But of course, I'm always changing it up. Then inhale, step the right foot forward. Exhale to a crescent lunges. Keep the arms at the side of your body and rise up from your roots and feel the heart opening. Inhale to plank pose and exhale to child's pose. Inhale, rise up to camel prep again. Exhale, rest the arms at the side. Inhale, step the left foot forward. And then exhale, crescent lunges. Let the arms rest, be led by your foundation. Inhale to plank and exhale to child. And do this again, inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale. Inhale, plank. Exhale, child. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, just soften the shoulders. Inhale, plank. Exhale, child. I'm going to add on to this. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, crescent. Now inhale, dip down. Exhale, draw the knee in. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, plank. And exhale, child. Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms to the side. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, crescent. Inhale, dip down. Exhale, draw the knee in, extend the leg. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, plank. And exhale, child. One more time, I'm adding on again. Inhale, rise, just stay with it. Exhale. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale. Inhale, dip. Exhale, draw the knee in. Pause it here, find your tree pose. Press the left foot into your right thigh. Palms together. Inhale, down into your roots. And exhale, draw those roots all the way up into the heart. So connecting in to the root of your heart. Open the arms. You can find a little Gyana Mudra, index finger and thumbs together. Stretching, opening up and expanding. Slowly draw the knee in, palms together. Step it back to crescent. Hands to the floor. Plank pose, inhale. And exhale, child's pose. Inhale, rise again. Exhale. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale. Inhale, dip. Exhale, draw the knee in. And open into a tree pose again. So really trying to work from the ground up. Just allowing the foundation to support us, the legs. And try to take all that work out of the upper body that we sometimes unnecessarily 
engage in in our yoga practice or in life in general. Soften the jaw, soften the neck and the shoulders. Let the foundation of your legs support you or your root chakra support you. And just feel, notice how when that happens, how it allows for the heart to soften and open and feel supported and step it back to crescent and lower the hands to the floor. Plank pose and child's pose. Good, inhale to an upward facing dog. Exhale to a child's pose. Inhale to an upward dog again. Exhale to child. One more, inhale, up dog. Exhale, child. Inhale, rise to camel prep. And exhale, rest the arms to the side. So I'm adding on again. Inhale, step the right foot forward. In exhale, crescent. Inhale, dip it down, knee up. Good. Bend the right knee for eagle pose. Cross the left knee to the on top of the right. Double cross if you can. And cross the right arm on top of the left. Lift your elbows, drop your shoulders down. Just feel your shoulder blades separating. Breathe away any tension in between the shoulder blades. And exhale, hinge it forward if you wish. So just visualize yourself being an eagle, right? And we're in that state of bliss. We might feel like that eagle flying high, really spreading our wings. And then inhale, fly out of it, arms to the sky, knee up, and then slowly open. Feel like you're that eagle spreading your wings and then open it up into a half moon pose. Yeah, stack the hips and the shoulders on top of each other. Stretch the arms in opposite directions, but pull and draw into yourself. As you draw into yourself, radiating from your center and then float it back to a warrior two. Take your time, ah, <laughs> landing back on earth, right? We can't always be flying high. From here, inhale to a moon squat. Just shift your weight to the opposite side and then inhale, come back into warrior two. Good, do that again, inhale to moon squat. And exhale, stay low as you shift it back into the center. Radiate from your heart. One more time. Inhale, but just let the foundation support you. Feel the strength of your legs and the strength of your core. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. And exhale into triangle pose. Slide the right arm down, reach the left arm up. So look up, look to the side or look down. Stay with your breath. And as always be willing to change your gaze, you know, change the plan, change those ingredients in your life that don't serve you any longer and then exchange it for something that does. Inhale, lift. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, plank pose. And exhale to child's pose. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to child's pose. Yeah, baby. Inhale, rise to camel prep. Oh, we're in the flow. Exhale, rest the arms at the side of your body. 
inhale step the left foot forward exhale crescent lunge inhale dip it down and exhale draw the knee in for eagle pose again bend the left leg cross that right leg on top double cross if you can and cross the left elbow on top of the right wrap the arms together lift the elbows a little bit drop the shoulders down and just feel your shoulder blades separating airing out any tension between the shoulder blades and then hinge it forward if you want to right airing out a bit dusting off <laughs> can make us feel brand new it's a state of mind good inhale fly out of it arms up to the sky reaching high draw the knee up spread your wings baby and then fly into a new destination perhaps a new direction moving into a deeper layer yeah it's up to you what do you need what nourishment are you in need of of all of these different four layers that help to move into this fifth layer and then float it back to a warrior two yay soft landing <laughs> well that was a bit of a clunk but that's okay <laughs> Oh, inhale to moon squat right can't always be super graceful and then slowly come back and it always helps if we have a good sense of humor about it right inhale moon squat and exhale inhale oops a message and exhale good inhale reverse warrior two exhale extended side angle inhale reverse triangle and exhale into triangle pose and look up to the side or down yogi's choice right so if you're on that side this side of your body where it feels different than on the other side of your body listen into that and make your adjustments accordingly good inhale rise exhale warrior two inhale plank pose exhale child's pose there we go inhale upward facing dog and exhale back to child's pose lovely pause it here in child's pose and find your praying child so palms together fingers pointing up you can rest your forehead either on the floor, on a block, or keep it a little bit lifted. And feel the hips drawing back, becoming quite heavy. Shake out your head, flutter your lips, sigh if that feels good. And just feel how the pranamaya kosha has been affected notice how the prana is flowing through your body notice how your anamaya kosha is feeling notice how your manumaya kosha is feeling hopefully feels like it's calmed down a bit good then inhale to a cow pose and exhale to a downward facing dog lovely shake it loose a bit shake it loose inhale lift the right leg to three-legged dog exhale knee to the right elbow 
inhale it back exhale knee to the left elbow inhale it back exhale knee to navel step it forward inhale to a warrior one then exhale bring the arms down and behind your back left index finger on top inhale opening up the chest and then exhale humble warrior mm. sometimes a bit of humility is needed in the flow inhale rise to warrior one and then touch your forehead and heart as you open to a warrior two inhale straighten out the right leg flex your foot turn your toes in then lift your heels and turn your heels in for temple pose or goddess pose and we're going to punch inhale for four counts and then go yum 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 inhale two three four 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 yum 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 and then place your hands on your heart close your eyes if you want to remember we did that for the manumaya kosha when we went through the chakras so just stimulating strengthening those roots in our heart so we become more fearless more courageous more loving more light and inhale straighten out the legs lift your heels turn them back out find warrior two inhale to plank pose and exhale chaturanga or knees chest chin inhale upper dog or baby cobra and exhale to child's pose inhale to cow and exhale to downward facing dog yeah there we go Ooh, yeah. inhale lift the left leg exhale knee to the left elbow inhale back exhale knee to the right elbow inhale back exhale knee to navel step it forward inhale warrior one exhale bring the arms down and behind right index finger on top inhale open the heart exhale humble warrior shake it loose let go of anything that inhibits you from moving deeper into the bliss body the ananda maya kosha little humility might be needed inhale rise exhale touch your forehead and heart right merging the head into the heart open to a warrior two inhale straightening out the left leg flex your foot turn your toes in and lift your heels temple pose now we'll do this one more time inhale two three four yum 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 inhale two three four yum 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 inhale two three four yum 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 inhale two three four four yum 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 inhale two three 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 four yum 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 and then place your hands on your heart Ooh and just feel all that life force flowing through you emanating from your heart 
streaming into every part of your body. Inhale, straighten out the legs. And then lift your heels, turn them out. Warrior two to the front. Inhale to plank pose. And then exhale, slowly chaturanga or knees, chest, chin if you want. Inhale, baby cobra or upward dog. Exhale to child's pose, yay. And find that praying child. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, let's inhale to a cow and exhale to a downward dog. And we inhale, lift the right leg to three-legged and exhale, draw the knee to the navel, slide it into a pigeon position. So level off your seat, lower the back knee into the floor, point your foot. So you can stay here, up high if you want to, or if you want to come down onto your forearms, you can do that. You can work, be anywhere in between, prop yourself up, and then bend the back leg. So if you want to move deeper into this, into uh, a mermaid pose, if you have the flexibility and the openness for that, go for it. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, then gradually release and slowly come up. Curl the back toes under and open up the right hip. Press the left heel into the floor, stack the hips on top of each other. Stay here or flip the dog into a wild thing or the rock star. And feel free to place your hand on your heart as a way to remind, to open the heart. That's what back bends are about keeping the heart open. Good, rewind back to three-legged and lower the leg down. Good, inhale, lift the left leg and exhale, draw the knee to the navel, slide it in to pigeon. Come on to the fingertips, stay on your hands, adjust the back leg or lower the forearms into the floor. Soften the shoulders, soften the jaw, and then bend the back leg. Draw that right heel towards your buttocks. Stay with your breath. So if you feel really tight today in any area of your body, try not to stay attached to that tightness See how you can rather focus on your breath so it can soften that tightness and help you move beyond the tightness. That doesn't mean that you push yourself, it just means that you try to create just a little bit of space for whatever can happen to happen. Good, release. Return back, curl the toes under, three-legged down dog. Open up your left hip. Stack the hips on top of each other as you press the right heel into the floor. And then flip the dog. Open the navel and the heart to the sky. And you can place your hand on the heart. Just let your head drop. Let the hips rise. Good. And then rewind back to three-legged dog and lower the left leg down. Good. We're going to inhale to plank and slowly lower all the way down into the floor. And just rest it 
into a crocodile pose just for a moment. So resting your forehead on your hands. So I won't go all the way down again because of my mic. But we'll do a few back bends now. And the first back bend, the Shalabhasana, isn't so much a flex flexibility pose, it's a little bit more of a strength pose. So rest the arms at the side of your body, ground your pelvis, let your pubic bone find the floor, lift the navel, and then lift your legs and your arms and head and stretch your fingers towards your toes. So now see how you can connect in to all of the muscles in your back body, strengthening and supporting you. And the more connection you feel to your back body supporting you, the more the chest and the heart will stay open, the less you will struggle through your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. And release. Good. Now shake out the booty. Then come back up into the locust pose, Shalabhasana. And then bend both of your legs and take a hold of your ankles. Feel the connection between your hands and the feet. And then press the legs away. Now when you stay here, feel that when you inhale, your body rises naturally. And then when you exhale, your body drops down naturally. So it's like you're in that ebb and flow. And that's like that life, the suffering, the ebb and the flow that we always think that the bliss is only in the flow and not in the ebb. But if we can change our perspective maybe, find those glimmers of light within maybe the darkness, could there be a bit of bliss there? And release. The one saying that it's easy but is it possible? <laughs> That's what we have to go for. Baby cobra or upper dog. We go for the possibilities. Exhale to child's pose. Yay. Inhale to cow and exhale to downward facing dog. Ooh, yay, shake it loose again. And step the right foot to the outside of your right hand, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Keep the feet parallel and find a Malasana, low Indian squat. So you can always place a block underneath your seat like we did in the Anamaya Kosha practice. I feel a little root rootedness. And gradually sit down. Good. Now roll down to the floor, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. And rest in the constructive rest position, placing one hand on your belly, another hand on your heart, and just notice now how you're feeling. And rest the arms at the side of your body as you keep your feet hip distance. Draw the tailbone under and gradually lift your pelvis. Roll your spine off the floor. Wiggle your shoulder blades together and find bridge pose. We'll do this twice so that you can use both of your interlacings. You can hold it here, you know, focus into your sixth chakra, the Vishuddhi chakra, you know, the co communication and personal truth center. Or you can move up into a wheel pose and then focus in a little bit more into the heart center, 
right? The unconditional love, the compassion, connecting into the roots of your heart, what is important for you to integrate into your life to feel fulfilled, to feel like you can shine your brightest light. And then slowly roll it back down. And slowly coming back down, resting one hand on your belly, another hand on the heart. And we'll do this one more time. Resting the arms at the side, rolling up into the bridge. And then do the second interlacing if you want to. And then continue up into a wheel pose if you want. Then perhaps lift the heels and straighten the legs out a little bit. It feels like you're stretching the heart forward, stretching the heart into a space maybe where it hasn't been or maybe it has been and hasn't been there for some time. <laughs> and release it down all right so that can feel a little bit scary initially to allow for that opening to allow for integrating that one thing or those things that are needed in the mix for experiencing your own bliss And lift your heels and draw your knees in and give yourself a good hug, all right? Cup your hands around the knees, draw the knees away, lift your head and slowly roll yourself up. Bend your left leg and cross the right foot to the outside of the thigh, level off your seat and twist it open to the right. Inhale all the way up to the crown of your head. And then exhale all the way from the crown of the head all the way back down into the seat. Good, and release and do an open twist. And face forward. Lean back and change the legs. Level off your seat and wrap the right arm around your thigh and twist it open to the left. Good, and slowly do an open twist. And face forward. Good, lean it back a little bit and extend the legs out. You can do any form of a forward bend that you want to. I'll offer the legs in front, but if you want to do the wide-legged Upavishta Konasana, feel free to do that, which we've done in previous flows in the series. So whatever helps you to feel a release into your lower, middle and upper back, into your hips, backs of your thighs, exhale fully.
and then gradually come up. We're going to cross our legs again and find our Sukhasana again. So feel free to sit on a block. For Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. So taking your two first fingers to your third eye, using the right thumb to close off the right nostril, using the ring finger to cross, close off the left nostril. Close the right nostril, inhale through your left. Close the left nostril, exhale through your right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Close and exhale through the left nostril. That's one cycle. Inhale through the left nostril. Close, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close, exhale through the left. That second cycle. Inhale left. Close, exhale right. Inhale right. Close, and exhale left. That's the third cycle. Now do two more cycles on your own. When you're done, rest your right hand on your right thigh. Stay with your breath. Feel the energy moving from the pelvic floor, your root chakra, and all the way up to the crown of your head, your crown chakra. And then from your crown chakra, all the way back through the spine, into the root chakra again. And we'll proceed with the prana mudra pranayama. Lightly interlace your fingers and place your hands down by your root. And then inhale, draw the energy all the way up through the front body to your throat. Pause the inhalation at the bottom of your inhalation. Open the arms. And then draw the hands back in. And slowly exhale all the way back down to the root. And then lift the root up at the bottom of the exhalation. Pause your breath. Inhale, rise up. Pause the inhalation. And as you pause and open the arms to the side, visualize the energy drawing all the way up to your crown. Bring the hands together. 
and slowly exhale, draw the energy all the way back down to the root. Pause the breath and then lift through the pelvic floor. Last time, inhale all the way up. Pause, open the arms. Bring the hands back in and exhale all the way back down. Pause the breath and lift the pelvic floor. And then release the pelvic floor and just stay with your yogic breath. Inhale as fully as you can. Exhale as completely as you can. Feel free to continue to sit in Sukhasana. Notice how you feel. Or feel free to recline into a Shavasana position. I think actually I'll just continue to sit here. Just make yourself comfortable and just allow everything in this practice to come together in whichever way it has to for you. Contemplate what is bliss, what is divine joy for you at this moment in your life. If you find yourself in a space of feeling suffering, what can you or how can you integrate something that can make you feel some sense of light, some sort of light, some sort of joy that can help your situation? Feel free to stay longer if you wish. If you're ready to come out of the Shavasana, if you're reclined, wiggle your toes and your fingers. Deepen your breath. 
and then gradually draw your knees into your chest and make your way back up into the Sukhasana position. We'll place our hands into the Atmanjali Mudra again, drawing the chin lightly towards the chest. And we'll repeat the mantra, those four Sanskrit words together. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May everyone everywhere be happy and free. And may the thoughts and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Namaste. Can you feel the bliss? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments. Thumbs it up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share with me and let me know if you've done all of the videos, if um, it was enlightening to you at all. I certainly enjoyed sharing this. So for whatever it's worth, I hope it served in some way. Mwah. In bliss, take good care.